guys. So for this macrame dream catcher tutorial, you will need a hoop. Um, mine is about 10 inches. You will also need, um, I'm using 10 macrame ropes. So next I'm going to uh, add all of my strings onto my hoop and I'm using a knot called the lark's head where I'm gonna take each string and get the halfway point. And then I'm just gonna set it over the top and pull through just like this. Now that I have my uh, 10 strings by on each side, I have spaced them out, so I've got a little bit of a break here in the middle, um, and then I've sort of angled them around the sides about the finger difference between each of the strings on each side. We're gonna ignore these ones on the right for now, and we're just gonna focus on getting each of these nice and straight and added in a straight line at your angle. So to add my first string, I'm gonna take my cord I'm going to go over the front of the hoop, under in the back, and I'm going to pull it around so I've got my string, it's been looped around the back, and I'm going to do it one more time. This time, I'm going to go around the right of my string, and see how I've got my U shape here? I'm going to tuck my string through the shape. And I'm gonna pull. So I'm gonna do my second one. Same thing, remember you go in the front of the hoop and then again you go under. I always go to the left of my string first and then nice and tight, keep it nice and tight and then you go under again. I like to just hold that hoop if I need to just to feed it through and then pull and I've got, I've got it really tight. It might even be too tight but you should have a nice tense string there. And then I'm just gonna continue with the other strings here. Okay, so all of these are added. So you're gonna grab the final string here on the right hand side, and you're gonna go over the top of all of the uh, left strings except for the last one here. So I wanna make sure that my string, it, it's as close as possible to the other strings here. You can always tighten on to the bottom, but sometimes it really is a matter of just getting it nice and tight. I think this one's a little loose, but it works. So my next ones, I'm gonna go over the top again, but instead of just going under the end one, I'm gonna go on under the bottom two here. And it's gonna become a thing, so each one I will go backwards one. Similar thing, I'm going to do my string here on the right. I'll try to keep them nice and close. Trick for you is if you're doing your second loop on the bottom, hold this tight here, but keep this bit in the back open and you can grab the string a lot easier. So your third string, instead of going under all of them, you're going under So then your fourth one, you're going under the second last one. And then your final one here just goes under all of them. 